Be sure to type in your name or select it from the... Rome. Wow. This will be my first time in Italy's capital. Maybe I can see if Italy really is shaped like a boot. I guess it's not a coincidence that Italians are famous for their shoes. Agent Second Class Level 2 Shadow Hawkins reporting. Have arrived in the capital city of Rome at 0800 hours. Commencing clue investigation procedure Gamma 4. You know, you are really funny. Attention, Jules, Hawkins, important news. The library just called. They're grateful to get their stolen book back, but they want to know what happened to the jewel set in the book's cover. They obviously get a little upset about missing jewels. Jewels? Missing? <laughs> but she's right here. Anyhow, Chief, we didn't see a jewel. Well, you'd better check it out. See if you can pick up any clues while you're there in Rome. Agent Salerno is still undercover working near the Colosseum. Check with her. Oh, and don't forget to check Jules' journal and review what you've discovered so far. We'll look into it, and don't worry. We're sure to find those Kipus and Carmen San Diego, too. Over and out, Chief. <laughs> Hey, Agent Jules Argent. Haven't seen you in a while. Not since Carmen San Diego flew the coop. Yeah, well, I needed some time to think, Salerno. But anyway, Carmen's at it again, and I'm personally going to make sure to get her this time. Have you seen any signs of her lately? Maybe. A woman just bought all of the sheet music to be Zay's opera Carmen. She said it was a present for a friend. Could have been a vile agent. Oh, and the chief said you may need this. A flashlight? Don't tell me you don't have one. Or is it not high-tech enough for you? Actually, I prefer to call it a TXQ Delta V12 Electron Illuminator. And no, I didn't pack everything. Salerno, is there anything else about that lady you said bought the sheet music? It's important. Well, she also bought the last of my panpipes. Well, I don't see what that's got to do with anything. Who knows? Carmen loves music. She posed as a musician once on the Starlight case we worked on. She really got into the part. What do you think, Chief? I suggest you look up panpipes in the database. It could be a clue as to where Carmen San Diego's headed. Oh. And be sure to check out the Coliseum if you haven't yet, because we've detected vile activity there. Chief, out. Good idea, Chief. I'll make a note about the panpipes in my journal. Catch me if you can, Acme agents. There she is! Get her! Come on! You want her to get away? Give it up. Unless you can fly. I almost had her this time. Couldn't you have run any faster? Listen, Hawkins. There's more to catching Carmen than just running faster. It takes brains, too. The Grand Taj Mahal Hotel. Interesting. And what about that writing? You know, Carmen and I worked with an expert in ancient alphabets way back when. He's retired now, but he was very helpful. Maybe he can help us again. So where does he hang out? Let's just say that it was the birthplace of democracy. Check your database, Socrates. I'll do that, but at least let's give him a call. His phone might be bugged. Long story. Chief, we need you to fax this note to that professor of ancient languages Carmen and I worked with. You know the one I mean? Yes, Jules. I'll see he gets it. You may be right about his phone being bugged. You should go see him in person. Get over there pronto. And be careful. Chief signing off.
My high school sponsored a trip through the Greek islands. Huh. My high school class took a field trip to the San Dimas Water Reclamation Facility. My old friend Professor Lonsdale moved here from Athens, the Greek capital. He's retired now, but he keeps busy researching ancient alphabets. Looks like he's not home. Play the sentence backwards. Weird. But if it's from Carmen, we'd better hang on to it. We're not getting anywhere. We would have had more luck staying back there in Rome. Have patience, Hawkins. It'll all fit together somehow. Let's check the clues we've found so far so we can figure out where to look next. This is where an old friend of mine lives. Even though he's retired, he's often out and about, researching ancient alphabets. He loves that stuff. This is where an old friend of mine. This is where. This is. This is. This is. This is where. You know, I've always wanted to see India, especially the capital, New Delhi, and the nearby Taj Mahal. What an amazing country! I remember my first time there. It was just before Carmen abandoned Acme, and everyone blamed me. Everything seemed to be going so well until then. India! You know, I thought you'd be a little more excited. What's up? Just thinking. I've been looking through my sketches of those two items that we recovered. A gem may have been missing from the Koruru carving as well. You know, from the center of that wheel design on the forehead. There was some kind of hollow area there. And on the Marco Polo book, too. Well, that goes along with my theory that Carmen Sandiego's just like any other thief. She can't resist anything that sparkles. Carmen's not that easy to figure out. She's too smart to waste her time on petty thievery. Whatever she's up to, it's going to be bigger. Way bigger. Someone liked my medallion so much, they gave me this photograph. Very strange. Someone tall and dressed in red, maybe? Mind if I look at this with our clue analyzer? It can figure out who and where this came from. I have a hunch it might be a key to finding those kipus. Just what I thought. Carmen Sandiego's fingerprints are all over it. The windmill is located near the Netherlands capital, Amsterdam. Hey, Chief, we found something. But it's not the kipus, unfortunately. Get it? Not the kipus? Kipus are strings with knots? I you're not laughing. Ahem. Anyway, Jules, I suggest you make a note of all this in your journal. I'll book your flights. We must stop Carmen Sandiego. Chief out. Time to get out the old, what you call it? Global Transportation Scanner Database thingy majiggy. We've got a plane to catch. Hey, this design looks familiar. This medallion is very popular. Just a few hours ago, a lady bought one. Insisted she needed one. Paid with guilders, too. Really? I wonder. I think we'd like one, too, please. Guilders, huh? You might want to look that one up in your database, Hawkins. Legend has it that this wheel design guided an explorer to a lost city. I know. You're thinking this design might have some connection to Carmen San Diego. But what is the connection? Maybe you ought to scribble that legend down in your journal. And something about those guilders, too. I like your style, rookie. You're catching on. We're flying into the capital city of Amsterdam, right? And then driving out to the country. You know, I've always wondered, what's with all the windmills in the Netherlands countryside? Didn't you know? They were mostly used for pumping out water from the Palders, the land the Dutch reclaimed from the sea. Half of the land is actually below sea level.
The Netherlands, land of tulips and windmills, huh? Well, supposedly, Dutch tulip growers produce over 2,000 varieties. But why would anyone want so many tulips? Well, I have a question for you. What does Carmen want with some ink and knotted strings? Could it be a clue as to what she's up to? A red rose. Let me guess whose favorite color is red. But the question is, did Carmen leave this for us or for someone from Vile? Either way, we should find out where Quechuas live. Now to scan the interior with my electron illuminator. Please, just call it a flashlight. Acme agents are fair game for Carmen? Ah, the first letters of each word are colored. This has got to be a note from Carmen San Diego to one of her vile cronies. But I'll bet there's more to this message than meets the eye. Maybe the database can help with some of the clues. Hawkins? I think you're starting to understand Carmen's style. Global transportation. Ah, Greece, birthplace of the Olympics. You into sports? I do some rock climbing and snowboarding. Oh, yeah. I remember reading that in your Acme profile. Yeah, it must be relaxing to live here by the Mediterranean Sea. If you like the sea, Greece is the place to live. Islands make up about one-fifth of the country. This is where an old friend of mine... This is where an old friend of mine lives. Even though he's retired... This is... This is... This is where... This is where... This was taken quite a few years ago, when Carmen and I were partners. But why did the professor want me to have it? He seemed worried about something. Yeah, well, enough nostalgia. I wish you could focus a little more on the here and now. Let's get going. Wow. From way up here, I can really get a sense of Peru's diverse geography. I know. It's amazing. The rainforest, the high mountains of the Andes, and a coastal desert to boot. But I can't see the capital city of Lima from here. Wow. This is a far cry from Lima, the capital. All this clean, high mountain air is really refreshing. Makes me want to catch a master criminal. Well, don't let me hold you back. It's the design again. Yeah, and that slot's the same size as the medallion. I wonder... You were right. This box is a vile M4C security exchange system. Kind of outdated, but does the job. These panpipes must have been left by Carmen San Diego. I think you're right. I seem to remember something about panpipes at that music store in Rome. Could these be a clue as to how to find the stolen kipus? We'll put them in our digital clue storage device before one of our accomplices gets here. Okay. The lock is sound activated, so we need to use the clues to figure out what tune to play. We can always reset if we make a mistake. The Kipus! We did it again! The ancient Incan system for keeping records. Each knot or color had a significance, representing a number or object. 
The museum will be glad to have them back. But do you see what I see? I see that Carmen Sandiego's stealing all this stuff, and we keep finding it. Yes, but look at the metal device that all the quipus are attached to. Wait, let me guess. There's a gem missing from the center. Carmen Sandiego's not really after the items. She's a jewel thief. I can't wait to tell the chief what I've discovered. Congratulations, agents. You found the quipus. Any luck in tracking down the missing gem? Not yet, but I have figured out that the book, the carving, and the quipu holder may all be missing a jewel. Not to mention the fact that the same symbol has appeared on each one. You think this has got something to do with Carmen Sandiego's reason for stealing these things? Interesting, Jules, but you don't have enough evidence yet. No, but my intuition tells me we may soon. That symbol seems linked to the legend of an explorer, a great treasure and a lost city. Sounds like just the kind of thing Carmen can't resist. Well, this may be something else she can't resist. I'm just getting word from Tokyo of the theft of a rare musical instrument, a moko. It's a gong, shaped like a fish, with the head of a dragon. She may... She may be watching your every move. Surprise, Chief? It's just too easy to intercept acne transmissions. Well, Jules, you and Gadget Man have done pretty well, considering. I'll have you going in circles this time. I can't wait. See you soon. Ugh! I hate it when she does that. We have got to upgrade our software. Going in circles, huh? I'll show her. Calm down, Hawkins. You'll overheat your transistors. Chief, can you track that transmission? I'm already on it. She called from a plaza near the Chateau Frontenac in Quebec. Get your tickets and get going. We must stop Carmen San Diego.